and welcome. As always, let's have a wonderful time together. Kat, Peter, thank you very much for doing this. And thank you for bringing joy and Dada to our life. Thank you. Hi, Hi Adonna. Yes, we're so glad to see you. OK, so um, we are now, um, we're now starting our show. This is the 2022 International Virtual Dada Festival. Today, we are so pleased to welcome uh, about 20 people 15. from from 15 people from uh, 12 different countries uh, and let's go ahead and from over in the European continent Canada and South America so yeah. we've got uh, an international flair uh, 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 today and right. uh, are we going to read the intro yeah. cat I thought uh, what we could do is get started is we'll just discuss what is what is data what is mid not and um, uh basically dada is a a uh anti-art movement anti -art that began movement. in world war right at the tail end or in, in, in the midst of world war one it's anti-war which is in this day and age is especially uh important. Relevant. and i think that dada dada ideas have extended down throughout the 20th century until now and continue we have a contemporary dada artist in this uh, annual journal that we we've uh, put out since 2008. This, and we're wearing bubble wrap. We're wearing bubble wrap to to protect protest the, to protest. I didn't protect. We were going to hand out bubble wrap to everybody live and yeah. have them pop the bubble wrap when we read our bubble wrap piece in the book, but we haven't brought that to. Yeah. Uh, Let's to, talk about the cover right. a little bit. Yes, the cover is by Chuck Conley, a uh, wonderful artist. Uh, he's been around for. Over 30 years, uh, he's uh, just a, a fantastic artist. Uh, he was, uh, if you ever saw the uh, uh, movie uh, uh, New York Scorsese. Stories, uh, Martin Scorsese had a the first piece, uh, the first uh, film, uh, the first segment. The, the segment was called Life Lessons, and Nick Nolte played a uh, a, a character as uh, was a crazy painter, and that was uh, the uh, fictional take on. Uh, Chuck Connolly at the time. So, uh, you. Uh, what did he think of Nick Dolte's portrayal? He was not a fan of uh, what Scorsese <laughs> did, but uh, heard he's first. still a great, great artist. And we were very pleased that he he sent us this. Uh, I saw this. He had put this out, and and he said, he said as soon as I wrote him, I said, uh, "What's it, what, can we put this on the cover?" He said, "I knew you were going to write me." So he had me at the at the word go when I saw this piece that it was ready for the cut. Uh, some things just work out. It's called Deflating Earth. Deflating Earth, Chuck and Connolly. It's a, a three foot by three foot piece that I think is really appropriate for the theme of this issue. Net zero. Net zero. So we'll uh, tell you a little bit about that. Creative pursuits have a funny way of aligning with reality. When we began to collect co contributions for Mint and Not 16, our theme, Net Zero, was intended to lay the grab work for an artistic power grab using Dada in the form of original art, poetry, and writing aimed at exposing the hypocrisy of the engine idle rich on recycled paper. Uh, our, uh, our, our goal, change the now with art and thought. Otherwise, the future has no, no potential. No potential. When the corporate powers that be control all the energy resources, art becomes a necessity. Or as Tristan Zara put it in the Dada Manifesto, Dada, Dada, Dada. 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 All right. So all of this was before the start in, of the war in Ukraine. Once again, we see the continuation of imminent destruction, horror, cruelty, and terror inherent in all wars. Opposition to war was what was and is at the core of the ongoing Dada movement, and our series continues to emphasize this pursuit. Yes. So. That's it. Um, this is Net Zero. The issue is Net Zero. And we're going to go ahead and start with our first reader. Is Jamika on there? I don't know. Is Jamika here? Jamika! Yes. Hey, she's there. <laughs> Jamika, speak again. That's I'm speaking again. Okay. Is that good? Can you hear me? I yeah. can hear you, but you're not on the forefront. We got to click you on. There she is. Okay. Get there we go. There. Thank Jamika. you. Jamika! It's so good to see you. Yeah, it's nice to see you guys again. Uh -huh. I was here. 
Yeah. I love the pizza pie. La pizza pie. Right. That was great. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and have you take it away, Jamaica. It's all yours. Okay. Hey, bonjour. Okay. Hunger diminished. This is the piece that was in the book. Hunger diminished to nothing but scent. Dionysus funk subdued in the wood. For the trees recall future body leaving. Translucent branches exquisitely blown through transitor lips, divining Hathor. All right. Thank you. I'm going to read one more. This is a piece, it's a part of a collection of poems that I perform with this group called Baldwin in Transit. We write uh, lyrics that are inspired by the works of James Baldwin. And this one's untitled. Okay, then I'm gonna let you guys go. Baby, your blood, sweat, semen, spit, and piss. All your liquids been sea changed. Fear reflected La Cour de la Noir, those dark and rolling Conrad waters drowned you out. Mask floating far, transformed, hydro ciphered and recoded. Nothing will ever be the same, baby. Fluid code glitched the loop. Home is a frequency, warping fractals alchemically. Home is a frequency, negotiating, negotiating and renegotiating interiority. Home. Solar plexus swimming with the jellyfix. Home, ask the octopusy. Home, where water don't forget. Home, in the eye of every storm. Home, everywhere and nowhere, baby. You are forever changed. Jamaica! All right, great. Great. In Paris, France. Come from Paris. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Good Thank to you. see you. And we're going to see you for real next year. Yeah. Uh, yes, you will. will. I'll be back. <laughs> out there. Yeah. We'll see you in Paris next yeah. year. Okay. So. Okay. Great. Um, next up. Next up, uh, we will have Peter Beta in Belgium. Peter, take yourself off mute and speak. <laughs> is he there? Where's Peter? Okay, okay. Unmute. There he is. Okay. Can you hear me? We're yes, going to put you hang on. Hang on a second. There we go. Okay, okay. Okay. All right. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. Yeah. Are you in Belgium? I'm in Brussels. Oh, you are? Right now. All right. Very good. Take it away. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to read the one that I wrote for the book. I'm going to read uh, actually a long one because I never read it and I wanted to read it. Uh, this one, I, I wrote it a long time ago, but yeah, here we go. It's called Step Into the City Scene. Abstract shit, convert legit, innate legal action, posing for a fraction, get a piece of the action fragmented. Day and night sirens, electric prostitution, contemplated billboard, people play in the center of things. Lies, fear, Western hemisphere, weed and cash and other trash. Stay discreet, smiling faces leave no traces. Be a lot going on beneath the code of the streets. Seeking psychiatric evaluation in a diversity of places. Unique physique expressions found in different social cocoon communities. Step into the city scene, where masks hide age and death, vacuum smoke beauty bathing in radioactive tar, multiracial scars, afro faro pollution, garden botanic can't stand it, cerebral intersection chasing clouds in sheep's clothing as the wind welcomes warm rain. Incredible mind zone from the ground up, incredible mind zone may seem closer than incredible mind zone fighting natural laws, animals without claws. We'll fight or share food for shelter. Internet parasite, high insight, drawn to artificial submissions, electric vibes of pure gentrification. Does anybody live in the city? Step into the city scene, a self-attracted universe of no velocity, no reasons left to leave. The beauty of blacks and blues, young Turks, Moroccan crews, head-wrapped Arab schoolgirl. Western twirl, interracial intercourse, of course, mingle white lives with pale faces. Rituals, absurd as religion. Small time thinking, every day, anyway, to the right and left and back again. The sky stays closed here, so minds have no spatial thoughts, no motion in the shadow of secured buildings. Europe, as a continent, is content and rigid. 
So unlike downtown America, where space is thinking, a void is contemplation, and destruction equals creation, bada bing. Step into the city scene, the crowd, the traffic, the scenario, intense contact, lens aggression. We will survive. Tribes, gangs, organized conventions. This is the anti-arc where everybody boards alone and leaves alone and where every night the last specimen of human civilization attends the final party with poor sperm quality. The city holds species endangered, master and servant, gymnastic break, glancing, didn't realize it was advanced until it was finished, diminished, lost, attitude indifferent. Tombs of non-motion, Chinese warriors, heroic standstill, surprisingly, at the depth of the abyss, there is action. Juggling verbs like Ishmael Butler, apocalyptic descriptions of voluntary fictions at your service like helicopters on rooftops, naked upper body and rolling tires, seeking exhaustion, bringing Athens the news of victory. Too many messengers seem triumphantly senseless seems the effort of delivering the message becomes the message itself. Approaching the finish line now, save ass, delete, edit, one love, disabled, dream is over, TV shows are political programs, translated into, into graffiti, I tag, therefore I am, free resistance. Proof of existence, strange or signs of weakness, anonymous achievements, evidence without purpose. Under the surface, we use incorporated transportation to the fourth dimension. A special effect, super infrastructure, excessive underground, speaker implosion. Step into the city scene, the comedy of catastrophe. Laugh at me, I'm harmless. Decadent superficial threats. Laugh at me, I'm heartless. Every morning a miracle. Violent expressions, technical obsessions, no shame in human sacrifice. Circulation roulette, we're all game. Absorbed in impersonal roles, urban characters, ideal demonstrations, ethnic organizations, naive mutations, morphologically moral. Concrete hate, forms of wealth and power, Puritan hygiene, misery, waste, vanity. But mostly, useless yawning, dawning of a new world. Oui, je sens de l'amour, toute la violence. Darwinistic survivalism, from one time zone to the next, from departure to arrival, saliva frantic, transatlantic atmosphere, raising high eyebrows. The sun is coming up now. The city could burn me. End of journey. All right, Russell, way to go, Peter. Russell Thank speaks. You. Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining us. And uh, stay on, please, and check out everybody else. Uh, we're going to. Uh, uh, Thank you so much. That was cool. Yeah. All right, here we are again. The Dada. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, so we are the Dada fans. And uh, it's, I'm uh, Peter Karloftis. Kat I'm Kat George. George. We're with three We're the editors, guys. the co-founders, co-directors, uh, and the editors of Metanon 16. Which is and available. Available. Did we put the link up? No. We need to but, put the link up. Okay. <laughs> you can get it online uh, just in the major bookstores, or, or you can get it including that one. And we were uh, talking uh, last week. Uh, we're still working on the new theme for number 17, and uh, we'll announce that soon. But last week we had an idea when I said that, you know, Dada was anti-war, and, 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 and then we said, well, peace, well, peace is only reactive to war. So we don't need peace either. We need to get rid of peace as well. I mean, if you get rid of peace, there can't be any war because you don't need peace. There won't be any war without peace. Maybe so, it works the other way, so, but I don't know. It's an idea. Yeah. We just threw it around. Write to me if you like it or if you don't. Uh, right. So send me a private private email or in a <laughs> private chat on the right. All right. So now we're going to venture to the Ukraine. Yes. Uh, uh, we Ukraine. have Ukraine. Yeah. The, uh, Ukraine. Yeah. Vladimir Bilik is uh, in Ukraine right now. They're having a blackout. Uh, so he was not able to join us. So we spoke today with him and uh, listen carefully because his sound is not the greatest, but he recorded uh, this for us today. Mm -hmm. um, he was hoping to be with us and we had all sorts of uh, uh, high hopes for this until yesterday when they started doing the, the knocking out their power uh, in infrastructure throughout uh, Ukraine. Uh, Rotten food. Yeah. So, uh, so we're, we're going to put on the um, we're going to play screen. the video, share screen, and, everybody. But just listen in as close as you can because it's a little quiet. Okay, so here we go. Uh,
And greetings and salutations, gentlemen. I first of all, I'm enabled to be uh, live uh, on this call um, because of this blackout in our area. But uh, you know, I find a little work around to mitigate my little problem with electricity. So I'm going to read a poem that was featured in the newest issue of Made in Our Magazine. Uh, it was written on in in the night uh, in the night uh, from uh, February twenty third to February twenty fourth, but it was finished uh, hours before the war was uh, before and it started. So it goes like this: Nic činice na stan na pusta rozmazat skoni. Proč? Nebo zdíňali se, kde by se zrozpůkli. I zvětky čarpnou z kosy. Luka nedoladná, urhoza je vrtoma. Záchod po žitě, vyskvěle z kníhy, šál, chmol, zejíc, protože dítí. I potím jenom prvršek náměr, který byl se nikne nedbalný. So, this poem about the uh, foreboding feeling of the impending boom. Uh, if you put it in plain terms, like it's uh, the whole week uh, before the war, it was like full of unease and full of, you know, like uh, uh, expectation that, you know, like you know what's going to happen, but it's not happening, it's not happening, it's not happening, but you know it's going to happen. And it just tears you up inside because of, you know, like nothing happens, but you know it's going to happen, but it doesn't happen. The whole horror situation when you didn't know what's going to happen and what is going to happen. And, and what really happened and every, everything went fine, as you might have seen for the last couple of months. So, kind of that's that. Okay, have a great night. Keep up the good work. All right. All right. Vladimir Billick from uh, Ukraine right this here. morning. Uh, he wrote that piece uh, back, as he said, back in a shelter at the beginning of uh, uh, this uh, horrendous uh, in invasion of right. Russia. Uh, so thank you, Vladimir, for, for being a trooper and getting that video to us today. And I uh, hope everyone was able to at least experience uh, his uh, his place here in this, uh, in this, on our, uh, in our book, his work belongs. And if you look at his piece, it's right next to the uh, Polish artist, Paul Gazinski, uh, has a piece called The Crown, which is uh, very, very uh, powerful as well. Um, so uh, uh, what are we going to do, Kat? We, our, should we keep our, moving? Yeah, our next reader is, um, I can Malik. Oh, you're going to read. Yeah. All right. So Fork couldn't make it. She's very ill. Uh, we're at Fork Burke in Switzerland. And we're so sad that she wasn't with us, but we're going to make up for that sadness by seeing her next year in Switzerland. And we're going to so. read her piece. I'm going to read her piece right now. This is Live Beyond by Fork Burke. This color of time, a universe is drawn in circles, folds like fire itself back from itself. I am the bread I have made. I am the egg of the world, buried egg. Swallow air, the sky, and the blue. What rises lives. Guard nest. I spotted I. Thee to thee. Cry itself season. Style gods of speak. Was that wound? This dream will not be prepared. Amputate all desire to be at peace. Ancestors birthing through sacred time, which unites concepts, our family roots, our through future. Multitudes birth gods, language split, the split taught you. What does our sound worship? Play drum brain. Word contains previous experiences. This 
is the storied human. I, I, the, the itself, that evil can tie, can't tie its own shoes. Hands glued to the wheel, timekeepers, death through you. How words nest. All right, that was Fork Burke, who Hi, unfortunately is, Fork Burke. is uh, not rising today, but hopefully we'll be rising tomorrow. Well, it's not feeling well, well. Today, but uh, it's not COVID apparently. So uh, we were happy about that, but uh, unhappy. To now we're in flu here. season. Yay. Yeah, now it's flu uh, season. All right. So next up, we have Malik Rupler. Let's get him. Uh, uh, he's he's there. He's at his classroom today. He's going to uh, be there. He, there is. he is. All right, Malik. Good Yay. Malik. Hi. Right. Consider this another transmission from the Dada Twilight Zone currently installed at Paris College of Arts, surrounded in a room of artists who are both of the interdimension and the multi-dimension and the after-dimension and the anti-dimension. Today, we are indulging in PSYOP number quadrillion, 890 zillion, 781 trillion, 567 billion, 234 million, 590,000. 100 pois set wheat nuf disnuf because now these ceaseless psyops are undeniably undeniable we desperately flee our most tungsten of thoughts or our most syntacare selves into camouflage cells which bewitch our ability to comprehend any of these boundless crises we're in couldn't have told me last night I'd wake up this morning on Saturn. I mean, Mars, even though it's still Berkeley. Circa 2020, pre-post Earth, Oakland, from a G video call to a confused runaway fugaciously living in the silver planet of putrid Paris. Because now communication more difficult than identifying the color of dust, since winning's no longer the point, all disaster-drenched descents into permanent vats of vapid viral hollows, vividly polluting, tagging, and sharing within hollow croissants, burnt to an onyx, crescent's crisp cancellation until reduction, 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 that melting deer horn honest question blooms again in those pixelated eyes that have sockets of another canceled regime space age after earth avatars after 2020 nothing shocks me anymore after 2020 nothing shocks me anymore give it some time said the same thing about 1968 and 1969 and then, fucking iPhones. Leap. Wow. We're going to see you next Yay. year, too, baby. I promise. I see you that out. All right. Great. Right on. There's, there's some of the Dada work. Nice. Yeah. There we go. Chairs, chairs, chairs everywhere. Wow, chairs, chairs, chairs. Okay, thank you so much for Glad being you're here. seeing you, thank you. We'll see you again soon. All right, so um, next up, all the way from the UK. Is, uh, oh, we've got a, a dear friend we haven't seen in a little while, Becky Fawcett, where is she? Let's get her up there. She's always uh, uh, just completely outraged. All you I have love to do is, Becky Fawcett. is speak, Becky, so we can find you. Turn off. There she was, speak. Rebecca. It's Rebecca. You see it? Yeah. Where? She was on the last one, Rebecca. There she is. Hey. All right. Can you turn off your mute and then? All right. Good to see you. Yay. Can you oh. hear me now? Absolutely. It's all happened. Happened. <laughs> So I don't know if anyone's aware of what happened yesterday in the UK. It's a, a shitstorm 
for the environment. Uh, there was a vote about fracking and the Tory MPs basically want fracking. So that's it. I think game over. And now Liz trusts the Prime Minister's gone, resigned. Crazy. We're just in a void. So I've done a poem, I've called it Death Sentence for the British Countryside. And I've got an illustration. So I shall do it now. Everyone can see. <laughs> so death sentence for the British countryside. Watch me, watch me, watch me. Fuck him up, kill him. Bang, bang, bang. Fucking have it. Smash that. Grab that. Bow, 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 bow. Colt 45 is the king of guns. No, I'm the king. I'm the king me. Look at me. I'm lord of the dance, mate. Nice. Spice, Spice, Katie Price, Spice Girls, Price is Right, nice, Bosch, Pistol, Pow, 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 Bosch, Bosch, Watch It, Dilly Gaff, Dilly Gaff, No, WTF, mate, Pegasus is Day, Pegasus is Night, right? Red Square is Rockets, 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 Bang, 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 The Vibes, man, The Vibes is Triangle, Circle, Star, my IQ is the highest ever, mate. Sewer ship, Stalingrad. A carrier bag full of shit. Shit. Tits. Tickwits. Sword, sword. Swish, swish, swish. Swords. Jon Snow. Go, Jon Snow. Full Jon Snow on it, the bastard. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Ooh, a tank. Bang. Sirens, sirens. No, 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 no. I am a monster truck. Look! Honk! 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 I am God, mate. Invincibility is me. Me. I've got all the things. I've got the weapons and the money. I've got it all, yeah? I am full health. I am immortal. Get in, fucking yeah. Yee-haw! I can fly through walls. I am the walls. Phew. Take that, twat. Kill, kill, kill till I puke. Love it. Toggle left, toggle right, left, right, left, right. Jump, jump, jump. I'm in the sky. I am the sky. Left, right, left, right. I am king. I am God. 100%, mate. Cut final. Cut final, cloth ears. Look at me. Invulnerable. That's me. I am the road captain. I am the sea serpent. Circle, square, watch me. I've got 10 out of 10, mate. Five stars. Touch me. Touch the ground. I can walk through walls. I've got all the guns. I've got all the money. No one is better than me. No one is better than me. I am God. Well, Thank you for attending this interview and on behalf of the UK government, we'd like to put you on the shortlist for Prime Minister. Thank you. Hi. Thank you, Boss. We love you. Me. We're going to see you next year live in London. We're, gonna right. do, we're doing a trip next year. Yeah. And we're going to be over there and we, we, <laughs> we, we heart you too. Uh, uh, so thank you so much for joining us and keep up the the, the the only place that you could come from. Yeah. You know, the, nothing could ever stop you. All right. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Maybe you should be prime minister. Right. I vote <laughs> Becky Fawcett. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> well, you can yeah. get your hands off the fracking. Tell them no fracking. Right. All right. That was Becky Fawcett from the UK. One more time for Becky Fawcett. And now we're coming, uh, we're going to move over to this side of uh, the, uh, the, the uh, pond. And uh, we have from Canada, Kathleen Florence. Please, where's Kathleen? Kathleen, take yourself off mute and say a few words. Hello, hello, here I am. Searching, finding. Hey! Okay, so nice to see you. See you. Okay. All yeah. right. So we're gonna we're gonna disappear now. <laughs> okay. Oh. We're gonna leave it all up to you. 
I'm going to read two poems. One is from uh, the book on page 32. It's a blackout poetry poem called Lung Reading in response to this theme. She remembers flailing, laid radically blood from dark, grow even sadder, drive her insane. The thing over there just beyond, the complicated sound of snapping, tearing. She understands that once you have seen the past and future become only dreams. Oh, only a single moment that never ends. The other one I want to read, I wrote before, no, not before, uh, in the fall of, of uh, 2020, around October, and we were heading into yet another winter, not unlike now, where uh, sometimes we were locked down, sometimes we were allowed to move around. It's called No More, Never Mind. No more long, lean summer shadows standing in my doorway. No more sand foot sink in Apollo drawn water. No more blanket banquet serenaded by smoking seagulls. No more lace covered queens holding court in my backyard. No more pine needles gathered by birds on the move. No more sing song softly while the wind barrels pop songs from the west. Shaking maples free their red carpets burning. No more French theorists drinking ideas from the bottle on Montreal's mountain slope. No more Rachel Street. No more Rachel. No more women riding gorilla masked in modern museums. Mona Lisa isn't smiling. Bauhaus isn't housing. Copyright isn't writing. Alice isn't welcome to my nightmare. No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more baking bread. No more art classes offering home improvement elixirs. No more climbing the pyramid of knowledge for a view of morning coffee. No more following traffic moving well signs pointing in one direction, pointing to a better way. No more stacking rocks, painting bricks. No more sleeping on my roof of dreams, double gliding on bicycles into oncoming traffic. Roses filling sinks. No more noting never againisms, nodding to the steady beat zombie, shuffle into a final night. No more first time for everything. This record is on repeat. This rocket engine fueled dust spirals. We are headed for the Milky Way, the way we milk every last line. No more last wish. No more last kiss. No more standing at the bridge. No more bridge. This song is singing itself to sleep. The three minute window is closing. No more windows. No more magic mountain ice house visions. No more roads that lead to nowhere. Our, rose, our razor bladed throats spill. No more words. Dirt fills the dig dug that we were. No more. Thank you. All right, that was gorgeous. Very nice. Where are you now? You're in, are you still around Niagara or? No, Montreal. You're in Montreal now. Very good. All That's right. probably where you belong, right? All right. Okay. So now we're going to present Peter. He's, oh, he's going to. I've got, uh, and then we're going to re just say our piece real quick okay. with our, uh, we'll hold up the, the, uh, I just want to read the last line. I've been doing this at all of the, uh, uh, actually, I didn't do it at the first one because we had Richard there, but uh, Richard Modiano's piece in the book, uh, his last line is, uh, it's called burn it down, burn it up. Uh, the last line is, what is the crime of blowing up a pipeline compared with the crime of operating one? And you got to really yeah. think about that. Um, uh, perhaps we've, uh, We've put in the, you know, we put our uh, eggs in the wrong basket. It's time to possibly think about uh, turning the tables. Uh, what are we going to do? Just build more EVs, manufacture <laughs> more EVs? Uh, that's not going to cut it. Right. Uh, we don't need this gasoline anymore. Uh, we need to move on. Yeah. All right. So our so piece is, uh, trouble, is, wrap. is trouble wrap. And uh, uh, I guess we can, I guess we need to, 
What page is it on? Oh, if you want, if you're no, for those of you reading at home, it's on page one seventy. One seventy. So what I was going to say is, we can and hold. If, if you have any bubble wrap near you, you can go you can ahead pop and it. pop it um, while we're reading. Hold, hold that, or I'll hold it up to the. Here's the bubble wrap, and 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 uh, and we'll read it. All right. Trouble wrap. Waiting here as yet unused. To protect some crap you bought. While one side has accused. What the other has abused. So a battle must be fought. Against these baubles of um, refuse. Right. Uh, okay. There you go. Trouble this new, wrap. This is like the new, you know, power sign, man. Bubble wrap. We're we're it and fans on your head. I mean, we really like this. If you saw, you know, you know the Hugo Ball shot that we still see a year later, a hundred a hundred years later of him in like that cardboard looks like a mechanical tin man or something. This a hundred years from now could be the Hugo Ball. Of course. We, you know, we're not doing anything to make sure that happens. We're just doing it, and right. perhaps it will exist. We're uh, we've been uh, doing the book for uh, uh, 15 years now. We're on number 16 uh, because <laughs> the first one was produced by uh, Arthur, by Arthur Carman. Carman in 1913. He created the very first Metanon, and he put it in a wheelbarrow and ro uh, would roll it around through racetracks, anywhere, streets in Paris. And, and sell them for whatever he could get. So uh, we're continuing, he's our muse. We're, we're continuing that vision of creating a, uh, a universal, a uh, international, as we're doing today, an international right. uh, base of people who belong to this ideal of creating only. Right. You know, we're just gonna continue to create. That's what we have to give. Mm -hmm. And we give this book to the world with 240 artists from 40 countries and- Including seven countries. Oh, wait, seven, 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 seven countries. Wait, yeah, yeah, seven, seven. seven. <laughs> Including Antarctica. We did have three people who actually lived in Antarctica at one time. So they aren't there now, but they did live there. So that counts yeah. for our book. Uh, All right. We live in a fantasy world of creating books like this. <laughs> right on. And we now have, now oh, we're traveling to Spain. Next? We're coming to Spain by Italy. It's Fausto Grossi. Where is he? It's Fausto. Fausto here. I'm sure he's on there. Fausto, speak a few words. Take yourself off mute and speak. If you're here. He's got to be there. Fausto. I couldn't believe Fausto. Paging Fausto. Fausto. Are you here, Fausto? Well, well, we'll try to come back to Fausto. Maybe, Maybe he's showing up later. later. Couldn't get on the, uh, okay. the, the uh, here's a hand for Fausto. Here's for Fausto. We'll, we'll try again later. Has he got his own face in the in, his, in the book this year? I forget what I don't know. Is. But our next no, no, reader no. is, yes. is Anna. Maria Guto. We are going to meet her for the first time. She's from Romania. And we want to meet Anna Maria. Are you there? Anna Maria. I see Ziggy Montes. That's good. He made it. Okay. Anna Maria, we're looking for you. Huh. I guess take we should have checked off, in on everybody. Take yourself off mute. Anna Maria. I don't see Okay. That. We're going to look for her a little bit later. Next up then. Bonnie Joy is there. Please I know welcome. that. Bonnie Joy. Take from your, Switzerland. Take yourself off mute. And we're not from and, there, but living there. And speak a few words. In the heart Bonnie. of Dada, Zurich. Bonnie. I, I, I'm close to Zurich, but not right there. Okay. All right, Mr. Zurich, close there to the beginning of Dada, Bonnie Joy. This whole town is Dada. Okay, I'm just going to read my piece from the book. It's called My Paris Agreement. If I could be anything, I'd be a deconstructed beauty committed to uncarb and re green. I'd have my energy cleared, smudged, and crystalled. Rehouse my eyelids higher, not so I'm high maintenance, but just a little more expansive. 
I'd invent a breathing system to romance the capitalist bug that sings in my ear. If I could corrugate the sky with dull satellites in place of the musky ones, then I would finally study the capsaicin stars I was meant to be bound to. So far, I haven't gone back to the blur of fabrics, artisanal heels, junk food t-shirts, and the yards of repurposed polyester sequin dresses. I try to cure myself of a not so crystalline consciousness with the praxis of techno pranayama. I now understand my inner body in an unorganized fashion. Yesterday, I exhaled sparkles. Today, I stand in eco athleisure at the edge of the plastic filled ocean and witness is its multitudes of burgundy greenhouse gas horizons. That's it. Body joy. Hey, buddy. Thank you. It's beautiful to see you and uh, we'll see you live next year. Yes. I hope so. No. Absolutely. Get okay. some Dada up in here. Yeah. We're going to work on Zurich. Yay. Yeah. All right. Cabaret Voltaire. Yes. Good. Okay. Oh, shit. Take your. Hi. We're back again. And next up, we're going to have Marina Kasakova. Is Marina here? She's there. Hi, everyone. Great. Good to see you. Okay, so we'll be seeing you a little more. And as soon as I make you uh, there, large. There you are. Now you're large. Okay. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you, Kat and Peter, so long yeah. ago. The last time we see each other was on North Beach in San Francisco. So yes. I've got a big hope to, to come next year. All right. Good. You can come in December. We'll be back there. Yeah. Okay. Or next year, uh, we'll be out by you. So we'll see you somewhere, whether right. it's in Belgium or Italy or uh, yes. Paris, somewhere. OK. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm going to perform today for two, because for myself and for Sarah Maino, who is unfortunately sick and lying in bed. So she was actually also supposed to, to present her piece. But then I'm speaking for two today. And I'm going to read a poem which is called From Iberia to Siberia. I wrote this poem, especially for this edition of my Mate Now, Net Zero. And like so many uh, poems of mine, From Iberia to Siberia was inspired by a painting of Sara Maino, or better to say it voices this painting. The painting is behind me over there. You can see it, I don't have a magazine now. So it's yellow and black. And the title of the painting is Il Tempo e un click Van Gogh. And so it was triggered by our visit to Maison Van Gogh, the home of Van Gogh in Belgium's Borinage, where Van Gogh, the pastor, became a painter, where he arrived uh, at the age of 25 to be an evangelist among the miners' population in this industrial coal mining area. So two years late in October 1880, disillusioned about the institution of church, he left um, this region of Belgium with an intention to become an artist. So from Iberia to Siberia. Mysterious Europe, my ancient Europe, from Iberia to Siberia to the spine of the Urals. You were to benefit from your fathers, from a grammar of notions and rights they devised, to life, to protection, to freedom of movement, opinion, religion, the right to property. Instead, where are we, my dear Europe? The age of the enlightenment, the edge of a coal pit. 
a small forsaken sloughing site where Vincent one time traced misery, but yet drew light. Now the sky is overcast with violet clouds. The pyramids of coal rests are higher than the mosque towers. A violent wind is blowing across the black land that tells what century it's seen. Between the poor nettle chunks, innumerable black eyes still flash. I'm trembling. I see a smile of fading nature. High above me, a lonely raven is flowing, slowly as if against her will, cutting the carbon air with her wings. She turns her head, looks straight into my face, and croaking abruptly, is chased by someone's car radio. Bitcoin miners are getting hungrier. They annually use more power than Argentina. Another car is passing by. Australia allows new coal mines while speaking about net zero. On the Van Gogh Museum door, I'm reading. Entry is only with the green pass. Thank you. Marina, Marina, Marina. we can always hear uh, more from you. You got anything else? <laughs> thank you very much for the trust. Uh, so many times I've been published with you, Kat. So I really, I'm really happy to be a part of Three Rooms Press family. Oh, we're very happy. happy we're so happy, happy to have you here. here. All right. Thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Okay. Next, we're going to bring up from Lithuania. I know he's on there. I saw his. Uh, somewhere there, Ziggy Montes, Kudurka. Uh, last time we saw him was in uh, the Brussels Planetarium, I think. So hey. where's Ziggy? There he is. Ziggy Montes. Hello. And you can unmute. Ah. <clears throat> oh, so good yeah. to see you. Hello. Hello, everyone. Did you go back a second? Oops. Yeah. Can you hear me uh, clearly? Yeah. Did you get your book ever? What? Did you ever get your book? Um, no, uh, not yet. Okay, uh, well, we'll figure it out. Yeah, it's um, it somehow. Okay. Sometimes it's possible. I uh, I have a uh, sunglasses that uh, came from the states all over the planet to Lithuania. The postman didn't find me uh, inside uh, my apartment at that time. The glasses went back to the United States of America, then back again to, to the other side of the world, to Lithuania, and there they are. So uh, it's uh, possible. I'll get it uh, sooner or later. Yeah, I'm uh, really looking forward uh, to read uh, the wall. Uh, the whole mainland uh, uh, book, uh, but uh, at this point, I'll read uh, the text uh, from uh, that I contributed uh, to this uh, edition and uh, increase uh, in case that uh, the uh, topic uh, I got into while uh, writing this text is uh, also progressing every day so also uh, the text uh, like organically um, like grows and and uh, has a uh, like a, a bit of um, extras to comment uh, the situation uh, that is now and um, the name uh, of this piece is global warning sorry I can't think about climate right now. Although the climate did change after Russia started the bloody invasion of Ukraine, and we can already witness the catastrophic impacts of this climate change. Sorry, can't think about greenhouse gas emissions while Russia called this brutal occupation just emission. Sorry, can't think about decarbonization while Russia dares to call this invasion a denazification. Sorry, 
can't think of shell oil corporation while there's intense shelling of an independent nation. Sorry, can't think about wildfires and uh, heavy flooding while there are civilians under heavy fire and uh, refugees are flooding. Sorry, can't think about Kyoto Protocol. Uh, all I can think about right now is the Budapest Memorandum, the memorandum that was cynically forgotten. And if you really need arguments that include an actual ecological impact, a single armored division of an army can use as much as 600,000 gallons of fuel a day. Does this fact make you listen? Yes, tireless Ukrainians still have inner energy to fight back the intruders. And that inner energy of resistance is renewable indeed. But there's definitely something that can be done from our side as well. Don't get me wrong. I really do care to the depths of my heart about the issue of global warming. But this thing happening right now is a global warning. It's a disaster, but it's definitely not natural. Russian army has to go. Only after the last soldier leaves, only then the global climate will get better. Don't doubt, don't blink. Demand your government to increase the support for Ukraine. Take urgent action now. We can't wait till 2050. Wow, strong words there, Ziggy Bodice. Thank you. You're absolutely right, Ziggy. Yeah. Although I really loved your ham the chimp piece. That was my favorite piece in that and the one we did the last time. Ham the yeah. chimp, remember? He returned, but this is a very strong piece. And thank you so much for joining us. I'm gonna make sure you get a book, whatever I have to do, okay? Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna you know, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah, let's let's keep them uh, uh, somehow. We'll use uh, these wings. We'll yeah. come in on Viking upside down wings, all right. and the fan will give us a tailwind. Uh, all right, right. Yeah. Thank you for joining Thank you. us. All right, we'll see you. I hope next year. Mm -hmm. okay. We want to see everybody next year. Okay, so uh, now uh, I assume did Fausto come in? I don't know. No, did Anna Marie come in? No. I guess not. I'm gonna read you would a, have to let them in. So. I'm gonna read a short piece here by Anna's gonna read by Sarah Legao. She's in uh, Portugal. Porto, Portugal. She is in Porto. This is called Undefeating the Apocalypse. The Apocalypse. He is a dickhead. He's in jail for aggravated assault. And he once spat on my sister. I used to cut his grass as a kid, and he paid me in counterfeit nickels. They still worked at the slot machines, though, and that's how I won my millions. I named my yacht after him. Thank you, right. Sarah Legal uh, from Porto, Portugal. And so, Peter, introduce our next reader. Next from Brussels also, we have Benet Cusadilla. So please welcome Benet. Uh, I know she's here. Yeah. Hey. Hello. 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 All right, good to see you. So nice to see you again. Okay, so take it away. Um, I'll first read a uh, chunk the one that was published in Maintenant 16. And then um, I'll read an old poem of mine, but it was only published this year in Ink, Sweat and Tears, um, which I hope is a message of, of hope. Tanker gas. Hip, a tanker gas toe. Circle it fast and slow with forest seeds. Seethe. 
Would I breathe or prize a plant, a coal plant? We choose our richest retreat. It goes for Ashuri. It is only the sun spitting rays, just the indefinite flight of a balloon that let go of its child. It is only squinting, just a nod, just the chatter of a flock on the wire hurried south. It is only the last call, just glass breaking the light and a sunflower turning away. It happens only at the end of a string, of a season or a life amid memories or even a dream that we climb only in flight higher than the clouds that we travel further than misfortune, find the glance of another passenger on the same bus. It only happens then, in the blink of an eye for our feet or will our open our share to arrive. It is only the river leaving the harbor, just the trading of the sweet for salt that dyes the scent of the sea and births you and me into plenty, the way our stomachs hurt with laughter. Thank you. Thank you. All Very right. Fine. You join us and we hope to meet you next year. We hope to get together yes. uh, in person. Yeah. I came as I'm not. Usually I'm not cold, but I thought I'll be wearing a nudie. No heating, LED lighting, just uh, but it's bloody warm. I'm so glad the windows open down the hall there. <laughs> Right. Okay. Very good. good. to see you. Even in the global warming. You're right. right. There you go. You're okay. ready. Bye you're bye. ready for the chill. I am. So Thanks. next we're gonna we're gonna bring up uh, a reader who uh a contributor uh that we know and love who lives like not like if I could open up my window and throw a rock, she would I could almost hit her apartment. But she's not in New York now. She's in Paris, where she also lives. So we do have Sophie Malloray in in Paris. So uh, Sophie, so good to see you. Sophie, good to see you. I there you go. Hello, Sophie. Can you hear me? Now we can. Okay. 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 We'll leave you be. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to read the poem that is in the, in the book, um, and thank you for, for this. Thank you for so lovely to see everybody and you, and I'm so sad that I couldn't be last week at the library, but in another library. Okay, so this is uh, the poem in, in the book. Um, overheard, sorry, overheard the moon, my belly is growing. My thighs are huge. All the crap, 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 you send up, up, up. All the crap, 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 you send up, up, up. All the crap, 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 you send up, up. Fleeting star, where fleeting to? Torn leaf, runaway fleet. For each boat you sank, you never planted trees. Red, yellow, green, snow dust, shrapnel cuts ocean marine. Gigantic caterpillar blows bubbles in infinite. Yellow, I drown. Get me, pack me, throw me over the shrinking mountain top. Get me, pack me, throw me over the shrinking mountain top. I grind my nails on rattling brains. Smoke, broken swings, rotting forest, rotting forest. Did you cut, blow all the palm molasses in water tank? Your nail on your mouth, breathe that I die, that I are shut from burnt eyesight. You blind, mumbo tango, we lose, mellow jungle banjo. Could you have sworn you knew the riff raff? Mumbling what now, mumbling what now, mumbling what? Apocalypse submarine, escape door, not an exit, nothing, a cold zero, you win. We, 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 we sweet hanging loose pants, holes, lullabies shot to hearts, ashtrays of kings and queens in pink ribbons, purple furry coats, hardware store around their necks, arrow pointing to no man saves Babunia, text the afterlife. Jump start, race to knife sharpener, Midnight robbery, you cut and slice. You cut and slice. We choke, 
Abu de Souf, Abu de Souf, crawl and fall. The submarine is no arse in a way. You grab, 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 you grab, you grab, you grab, grab. From little people grab, from children and people grab. Number of dead, brag. Sounds like northern flickers trapped in city lights rising to yellow skies. Sounds like northern flickers trapped in city lights rising to yellow skies in rusty fumes. They, the sounds, we never find our way up the river, nor the river, nor I. Watching over, watching over, no I, watching over. Thank you. All right, that was wonderful. Thank you. Oh, man. So good to see you. Uh, when are you coming back? Or when? I, I hope next month. I hope to be next month. Okay, next yeah. month. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll be looking you. to throw a rock at your I will, I will for sure, yes. Yes, I will for sure ring the bell. All okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Peter and Kat. Thank you. Miss you guys. Oh, we miss you too. But yeah. we just saw you, so yeah. it was a little something. A little yes, that's true. Not yes. So now we are we are very pleased to welcome from the. Uh, I think she's either in in down in uh, Buenos Aires or Mexico, she's uh, Mexico or in Mexico City. I'm not sure, but we will find out uh, from Mado Resnick. Hi. Hello. How are you? Well, now I'm living in Mexico City, but actually I'm from Buenos Aires, so South America and North America now. Oh. Yeah, okay. the message is the same. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't have anything to read. I just want to show the piece I've made for Manon 16. And actually, when I made it, it's a collage. And when I made it, I, I started with a trunk of a tree like if it were a dead trunk tree. And then this, it's called the weeping struggle. Like um, in my country, in, in, in Argentina actually, we have um, some sort of goddess from the earth, which is called Pachamama. It's mother earth actually. And Pachamama is watching us. And all these women here, they are trying, I mean, they are crying but still they're fighting. And we have a lot to fight for. Not only, not only the warming, but also, I mean, the war in Ukraine is for everybody, it's a war. And so I'm, I'm, I was thinking what to say today, and I'm so, so concerned about that because my, my grandparents came from Ukraine to Argentina and uh, I was thinking how uh, how strange things are are getting into. I don't know. I mean, it's very painful, and um, so I agree so much, and I feel I felt so moved of Sigimentas. Uh, um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing okay your name, but it really touched me a lot, and uh, I think that we are all. Um, moving people in the sense that we are discardable, you know, like commodities, we, human people. So I think we have to fight for that, for that to end. That's what I wanted to say. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's so good to see you again. Yes. Uh, and same seeing you again, uh, you think you'll be at least online. Yes. Do you think you'll be back down in Buenos Aires at all next year, or you're staying in? Uh... No, I'm, I'm moved, I, I have moved to Mexico City. Of course, next year I will be back in Buenos Aires for a while. And um, but in in Argentina, as in Brazil, in Chile, Uruguay, everywhere in South America, where a lot of uh, you know commodities, natural commodities, we have a lot, and. Um, we are very, I mean, very concerned about uh, the the way, the, the, the near future for us as people living there because they are coming for our commodities. So we are in danger too. Right. And we have a lot of water, which is, you know, a, a commodity as all used to be. So, yeah. Right. Uh-huh. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. All right. Okay, so um, 
now we have our, our next reader, um, which will be from Berlin. And if he could speak, I can find him a little easier. Paul, are you there, Paul? Paul, Whoa. Paul, 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 Paul. I know he's there. Paul, we know he you're there. We have someone else uh, yes. performing with him. Yeah, yeah. There he is. There he is. Yeah, we are here. Yeah. Okay. Can you see? There you go. All right. All right. So we've got a true performance. And who is your performer? Tell us who's with you. Yeah. This is uh, Wang Lan, Chinese artist living in Berlin, and uh, Paul Weil. So both are W. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I don't hear you now. We can hear you. We can hear you. Go. We You're can on. Hear you. You're on. Take it over. We're the final act. You're the closing of the show. Take it, Take away. it away. Okay. We don't see. Yeah. Uh, okay. A rabbit. Man.
What a jerk. Yeah, this is uh, this was a Chinese old Chinese game called Tanka. Thank you. All right, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. What a nice way to close the show. Thank you so much, Paul. And so nice to meet you. Next year, yeah, nice you will you send us. On. You will send us something next year, right? We will do that, both of us. Okay. Good. 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 All right. Excellent. Wonderful. Excellent. Well, thank you. We'll see you next. We will also we would love to meet you when you come to Europe and do something together. We will. We Absolutely. will definitely be uh, using that. Is who else is here that uh, we could say hello to from Europe? Uh, is that Sarah? Was that her? Did she answer or not? Sarah. Sarah. Oh, she is shy about performing. So, Sarah, welcome, uh, welcome, Sarah Legal, Legal, who is here. But I read her piece, and she says hello, and she's shy about her voice. So Sandra so Gia, to too. Where is she? There she is. Sandra hello, Gia. Sandra Can we Gia. Say hello? Bring her up there. I want to say hello to Sandra Gia. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi. You I'm were, in Spain this year. This year <laughs> hello. And last year, you were in Greece? No, I was in France. France. OK. Right. Oh, that's right. South of France. The year before, you were in Greece. And then you were in what was it? What was it? Uh, Malta. Malta. I can't believe. I want to just hang on to you, like I want to be in your backpack. <laughs> but, welcome. It's so nice to see you. And, nice to see you. All the best. Okay. All right. I'll go ahead and well, put gonna, out everybody. Yeah, on. We're going to show Fausto and Anna Marie Guta's okay. piece. Um, right. Thank you so much, Sandra. Good to see you. Hopefully next year we get together live. Um, this is from Fausto. Uh, uh, Grossi, and uh, he's uh, committed to uh, the net, net zero in the new Europe. So uh, uh, he's got a nuclear bomb, and it looks like, uh, what is that, an arc down there? <laughs> Anyhow, that's Fausto's yeah. piece. And what's the name of the piece? The piece is called ARP. Oh, it's a reactor, nuclear reactor. ARP and a, a reactor uh, prepares. So, you know, if you read Stanislavski, you don't need it. And you just go for reactor. Here is Anna Maria Guta's piece. She's from Romania and uh, very beautiful. It's called Intrusion. And this is her gorgeous piece. So thank you, Anna Maria Guta and Fausto. And we're sorry that you weren't able to join us, but and also we're for so happy Peter everybody. Peace yes. Music. And Sarah Maino, her piece was shown by Marina. Yeah. So we're all covered and we had a wonderful show. What a what a great time right. we have. Uh, next year, we're gonna have a better time because we're gonna be there live on the continent doing a few different uh, uh, performances that we will right. talk about uh, uh, once we get into the new year. Right. Uh, but, uh, uh, and we're working on our theme for next year, the, uh, the uh, 
uh, contribu contributions will begin in January. January 1 through March 15th. So I'm going to put us on the gallery boat for a little bit and just to say hello to everybody. But thank you so much for joining us. Yay!